Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bhumisya team. Today we'll see one of the SQL topic that is set operators. Set operators we are having union, union all, intersect and minus. So in order to understand this concept, we should have better understanding of the following concepts like DDL, data definition language. So by using create statement, I'm going to create a table, data manipulation language, DML. That is not my data manipulation language. So by using insert statement, I'm inserting few recall. TCL is nothing but transaction control language. So if I want to control this DMS, I will make so commit. So the data will be stored permanently in our database. CTS is nothing but create table, table name as selection are from old table name. So mainly used for backup table creation. So set operators we see, uses of set operators nothing but it is used to club two or more select statements into a single result set. So we can able to use set operators to, in order to perform club two or more select statements into a single result set. We'll see what exactly it means. So we are having union, union all, intersect, next one minus. So these are the four set operators available. I will see detail statement. So by using create statement, I'm going to create fruits table. Create table, table name. Table name is fruits table. I'm having only one column that is fruit name. It's a var cap. DML statement. So I'm by using DML statement, that is insert statement, I'm setting few records in our database. So one is mango. Another one is apple. Orange. So grapes. Okay. So I'm by using the detail statement, I'm creating Fruit stable details are auto committable, no need to commit those transactions. So, DML, so insert statement, I'm inserting four records mango, apple, orange, grapes. So, four records are there. These are DMLs explicitly commit required. That's why TCL by using commit, we can able to con uh, commit those transactions so that data will be stored permanently. So, DDL, DML, TCL. So, three statements have been covered. Now, if I select this, is the data retrieval language select star from fruits, it will give mango, apple, orange, grapes. So there, there are four records in the Fruits table with the column fruit name is the column name. Now my requirement is what? This is fruits table. I want to create fruits backup table with the same definition with the same data except grapes. So one more time, I want to create the same table. This is my table. I want to create backup table, fruits backup table, fruit backup table with the same data with the same definition. So fruit name, fruit name, same data except grapes. So I want to create the same. So in order to have backup table, I will make so. CTS concept. <coughs> CTS is nothing but create table. Table name is what? Our fruits backup table as select star from fruits table. So if you see select star from it will create table as well as data. My requirement is what? I don't want one record. That is, I don't want grapes. Except grapes, I want to have all three remaining three records. C T A S. Create table, our new table name as select star from or table name. So if I don't put, uh, put any filtering condition, it will, it will create it will create table with this with all the same data. But I want I want the records which which are not having grips. So I don't want grips other than grips. I want to insert the record. So C test the C test create table table name as select star from old table where condition which is a filtering condition. I don't want the grips other than grips. I want to insert. Now table has been created. Now we are having fruits table and fruits backup table. So if I select start from fruits backup, we we'll get mango, apple, orange. So why? Because grapes we don't want. That's why you got the results. Now we'll see one by one. What is union? What are the set of fruits we are having? So union. So we are having what fruits? In fruits we are having four records. In fruits backup we are having three records: mango, apple, orange, grapes. Fruits backup table: mango, apple, orange. So if I put select start from fruits. Select start from fruits backup. So this is one select statement, another select statement. So union is set out used to club two select statement into a single data set. So you'll see what, what will happen. So what happened in the sense like if I perform union now, it will give if you see apple, apple is there, grapes, grapes is there, mango, mango is there, orange, how many apples are there? Two apples are there, we are getting only one apple. How many grapes are there? Only one grapes are there. Mango, two mangoes are there, only one mango. Orange, how many mangoes? Two mangoes, only one, one orange we are getting. So what we can conclude now? So union, what it will do now? It will give distinct records. There will be no duplicate. If you see mango, mango, two records are there. But what? 
only one will consider apple two apples other only one apple will consider so distinct record there won't be no duplicates and one more thing if you see here a g m o this is nothing but sorting so when union what it will do it will eliminate duplicates as well as what it will perform sorting order if you see or uh, this fruits will get sorted automatically getting them so what i want to say union what it will do it will eliminate duplicates value it will have distinct records only and as well as what sorting order it will perform so it will be in a sorting order next we'll see union norm so fruits table four records fruits backup table three records now this is one select statement and this is other select statement so if i want to club do select statement we'll make some set of headers select star from fruits union norm select star from fruits backup so what will happen we'll see so what will happen now fruits union what will club what it will do it will take this result set if you see mango apple orange grapes it will take this result set and mango apple orange simply it will club two result sets okay it won't do anything apart from it clubbing two result set into a single result set so what can we conclude simply club two result sets into a single result set if you see this one as is this one as is nothing it won't it won't do any it won't do any elimination of duplicates and no sorting nothing it will perform simple it simply it will take this result set and paste here and single this result set in place into a single result set two result set this is one result set and this is other set so what we can we conclude it will club two result set it will simply club two result set into a single result set and there will be no elimination of duplicates duplicates values will be there and no sorting will be performed here hope this is clear now we'll see one more thing now we are having intersect fruits table then fruits backup table four and three records are there so here grapes is the grapes no other all three records are same select star from fruits this is one select statement that is not matter one result set intersect select star from fruits backup table intersect what it will do if you see here what it perform it intersect will do common records between two result set if you see apple 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 both are there mango mango both are there orange orange both in both result set is there that's why it is picking common records between both result set grapes is not there that's why it won't pick that's why apple mango orange common records between both result set see common records mango apple orange grapes is not that's why it is not picking so what one more thing is that results would be in sorted if it will be in what sorted order so it will be amo it will be in sorted order whatever it is minus fruits table Four records, fruits backup table, three records. So select star from fruits minus select star from fruits backup table. So this is one result set and this is other result set. So we are clubbing and doing minus operation. So we'll see the result. What happened? Grapes. So if you see grapes, how it came here? If you see mango, apple, orange, mango, apple, orange. So what can we conclude here? That so it will give all the records from the first result set which are not available in the second result set. In the sense that. So if you see mango is there, mango is there. Apple is there, apple is there. Orange is there, orange. Is there. So these three records should not be there in the first result set. That means like grape. So one more time, these three result set. If you see here, mango, apple, orange. So these are the three records are there. So it, if you see here in the first result set, mango is there, apple is there, orange is there. These three should not be there in the first result set. So other than the set, other than the result records, we will get the record later. That is nothing but grapes. One more time. So mango, apple, orange. So these are the three records available in the fruits backup. These three are available in the fruits table also. So this won't like it won't get the records from the second result set. The records should not be present in the second result set. Those records only will pick. That means like grapes, it will pick. So it will give all the records from the first result set which are not available in the second result set. That is grapes will get. Now in order to perform set operation, now we should we need to follow some rules. What is that one? We should have. Same number of columns in both result set. So same number of columns should be there in both select statements. Then only we can able to perform set operators. And one more condition is what? Same number of columns and same data type should be there. Then only we can able to perform set operators. One condition is what? Same number of columns and same data type in both the select statements. Whatever the select statements we are having, that should have same columns and same data. Then only we can able to perform set operators. Now we'll see one of the interview question. So select star from fruits, order by column two. Select star from fruits backup, order by call two. What will happen here if you see order by class happened in the first select statement and the second statement? So it will throw error. Why? Because 
so order by class should be at the last select statement okay so order by should be this is the condition this is one more one more one of the one of the condition we need to follow order by should be it should not be here it should be at the last select statement then it will give result otherwise it will throw error so order by should be at the last select statement one more intro question so union versus union union what it will do union is it will it will eliminate uh, eliminate duplicate values it has only distinct values and it will give sorted results whereas union now it will have duplicate values and no sorting or order will be performed simply what it will club two results set into single results set and one more question is that which one is faster out of union versus union now? so if, when you compare union and union which one is faster so union only is faster why because in union we will perform distinct operation as well as sorted operation that's why union is expensive it will be a little bit of slower when compared to union so union all is little bit faster when compared to union so four weeks of poelsk real time training has been going on a new batch is going to start on july 30 30th so so on you can able to enroll in this we will cover coding standards what are the coding standards we'll see sql start sql and poelsk from scratch we can able to start and real time scenarios daily tasks will be provided out of and now again and also will include coding standards will be provided also like interview preparation will get for interview preparation as well and how to do unit testing like in real time how to do the unit testing also will be covered and code movement and environment so there are different types of environment available in the real time like development e2e n2n e of production so those are the different types of environments available. so we'll give a little bit of a glance over it so if you are interested you can able to reach out to this number this is my name So if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching